All right, well, for this, at least the beginning of this episode, I just see that there is something on my compass that I haven't found, so I'm going to go toward it and see what there is to be seen. This is roughly in the direction where the vertebra crashed. Ooh, look at that. All right, something's going on over here. understand how I didn't get a headshot the first shot. I guess that's all that remains of the fight between Brotherhood and presumably Super Mutants. Hmm. What is that green building in the distance? Is it Diamond City? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway... The compass marker I was interested in is this direction. Hey, Scaver. Let's trade. I've got a few minutes to browse. Sweet. She's got money and ammo. All right, so what I did there is I bought all of her 5.56 ammo, and she had like 300 rounds of that stuff, which is my most important and constrained ammo. In exchange, I sold her both the extra things I was carrying and a bunch of my 5mm ammo, which I never use because I feel like Oh. The minigun is very heavy to carry around. I don't have heavy weapons training.
and its default of 8 damage just doesn't penetrate enemy armor well enough. So I just saw and killed two Yagwai. I didn't actually look at what kind they were. I'm guessing the fact that two of them are found in close proximity is not a co coincidence. The sound of that mailbox sounded threatening somehow. Stunted Yagwai. I think those are the weakest kind. This reminds me of the neighborhood in Fallout 3 that's inside the computer simulation. What is this place called? Fairline Hill Estates. I don't remember what it was called in Fallout 3, the city I'm thinking of. Well, if there are Yagwai just wandering around, probably aren't any other enemies, but there could be other Yagwai. I just used my jetpack. <laughs> I think it did. Because I think my feet weren't entirely on the ground or something because of the hole in the floor. Alright, I think I'm just gonna put a few bullets around, see if anybody reacts. Oh, okay. Somebody excited. A legendary bloated something. Three enemies in there. There we go. Let's make them move again. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Huge radiation cloud. Oh, this is like his attack. Wait, there's still one up there. Huh. There we go. I have no idea why that would have been 
didn't want to respond. Okay, well. Now I think it's safe. I still got almost a hundred pounds of carry capacity. So, did the ghouls set these traps? Or did the people set the traps before they became ghouls? Hmm, I can't pick that up. So maybe that Tesla arc would have ignited if the monkey saw me. I don't know why the monkey didn't see me. It wasn't all that stealthy. Okay, so now how am I supposed to get in? Hmm. Oh, I gotta climb on the the truck. Has something. So there's a trap there. Terminator's automatic combat rifle. So the combat rifle is what I have as my sniper. So I suppose, right, I could replace the core of this gun, because this doesn't have any special abilities. I could replace it with this thing. Seems like it's not even worth the time to do it just because it's such a worthless capability, but maybe I'll do it. Mire alerts and bugs aren't exactly what I'm worried about. A second trap, or are they both wired to the same one?
big explosion. That's a trap, so is that. I'm thinking this is... So I went into a parking garage once that had a lot of traps. It was sort of a maze. Yeah, and there was something like that, like a couple of jail cells next to each other and a flamethrower traps inside them. That's what this is. Provisioner fighting. understand how I'm not how is this guy just tanking all these shots
going to go ahead in even though it means I lose my opportunity to swap my power core. Yeah, see, that's the entrance to it. Okay, so this is definitely the place. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and swap my power core. up that guy's rib cage and spine. Okay, not everyone's dead anyway. That's my provisioner. This is a caravan. If I could find... If I could find the, the person, I could sell my stuff. My big guns now, because you bet your ass your enemies will. I'll take a look. Sure. Oh, goody. Let's make mischief. Okay, what I think I'm going to do now, since I want to, I think I want to go through that spot, the parking garage with all the traps again. I don't know if everything will have respawned or not, but I'm curious to find out. But I'm going to do that in the next episode, and right now I'm just going to walk over next to it and then cut the video. 
So, until next time.